All right, I am having a wonderful day. Uh, Rob Ferretti here. Uh, cracked my phone because it fell on the computer on the side of the Infinity. Okay, cool. But uh, I'm just I, I'm done going Gen One Doug Demuro here and not even not even bothering to hide the wire. Uh, yeah, I just had sort of the trip from from hell. Like one of the worst drives, probably the worst drive, my least favorite drive of all time is driving I-95 from New York to Boston. Sucks. Boston's a cute little town. People talk a little funny, but it's not really... It's like super close to New York, if you think about... It's not really that far from New York, but it's also really far because the drive sucks. And that's what I experienced. Now, this brings me to, to the question whether or not you should buy a new or used truck. Now, you guys know my truck. I got it from Dash Hub. I was very happy with it. Uh, I modified it, made it a car hauler. Now I call it the ugly truckling because it's still not painted uh, despite my numerous attempts. And we'll get to that. But before beforehand, I'm going to get to today's video sponsor real quick. And you know what's cool about today's video sponsor is I used it the entire way up to Boston. Because if you're like me and you're driving something that's old and doesn't have like Bluetooth or Sirius and satellite radio, this thing acts as a Bluetooth speaker. So you can, it's sort of like just your, your speaker phone for your phone. And it also, it acts as like a, a, a satellite radio because you could just beam your Pandora through it the whole time and you effectively have satellite radio. So, today's sponsor, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, today's video sponsor is bringing you a very special offer on the Cove speakers. Now, I've got one of these Bluetooth speaker, clearly it's in my hand, and I use it for entertaining my kids, and I even use it when I'm driving in my BMW because the sound system is terrible, and this sounds a hell of a lot better. And I know you've seen a lot of people out there like, listening to or jamming out to a song on their cell phone, I don't care how good a cell phone is, it's never gonna compare to a nice, reasonably priced Bluetooth speaker. Now, this speaker, um, it's got the subwoofer little, subwoofer built in, has excellent sound, it has an indoor and outdoor mode which you can toggle with the one switch, seamlessly connects to your device, and then this here, this rotating device, is to adjust the volume. Simple, it works, it sounds good, and today, and for the end of the through the end of the month, if you use the promo code SSR65, you're going to save 65% off and get free shipping. So if you check out CoveSpeakers.com/SSR65, they support the channel. They have a good product. I want you to go support them if you're in the market for a speaker. All right, so. I guess the question I'm answering now is whether or not it makes sense or doesn't make sense to buy a used truck and fix the problems. And some of the problems you're like, yeah, no big deal. Some of the problems you're like, this sucks. And I experienced one of those problems on my way up to Boston. I was going up for Gold Rush is starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, yep. And they're starting in Boston, going to New York, uh, Detroit, uh, all the way to Vegas. Um, but uh, I had uh, one of my buddies using a car up there, so I brought it up to him on my truck. And the worst possible thing happened, which is the air conditioning went out. And my windows are so tinted, it's like having like sunglasses on. I don't need sunglasses. Like, but when the air conditioning stops working, it sucks because then it gets really hot in the cab. And then I put the window down, and then the sun is beating on me, and that makes it even worse. And it was just a very unpleasant thing. And I think I diagnosed it as to like when I hit a bump, it goes on and off. I don't know. Either way, here you go. Take a quick ride with me up to Boston. It sucked, and I'll show you exactly why it sucked, because it's usually like a, in a car three and a half and a truck four hours, took me about six, six hours. I do not want to waste six hours of my life going up to Boston. All right, you know what sucks? When you don't buy something new, you get it used. Yeah, you save a bunch of money, but my AC doesn't work. It works, but then it blinks. I tried getting it refilled with Freon, thinking that would fix the problem. It worked for 40 minutes into my trip from New York to Boston. Uh, you can see back there I'm going to uh, drop a car off uh, to my buddy for Gold Rush. And I've been sweating my nuts off for quite some time. Now uh, I made the mistake. Another little trip from hell. I was sitting in traffic the entire way up 95. Worst drive in the East Coast is uh, 95 from New York to Boston. It just sucks. And in doing so, I 
kept saying, like, oh, here, 15 minutes faster, 30 minutes faster. So I'm like, all right, as long as it doesn't take me on the parkway. And sure enough, it goes to take me on the parkway. So it looks pretty harmless here, right? This is, uh, this is my GPS, and look at this. I got an A for safety. That's pretty boss right there. Um, and I mean, most of the time, so I, I crossed the GW bridge. This is lots of traffic, lots of traffic, lots of traffic, lots of traffic. Like when I say traffic, I'm literally doing like 30 miles an hour. Look, look how fast I'm going here. Like, let's see, pick these. 12 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour. This one we got to pick up some speed, 34, 34, 16. This sucked, five, all the way over here. So then my GPS is like, yo, you want to save a couple of minutes? And I'm like, yeah, I want to save a couple of minutes. And it took me off the road. And that's this one detour here. This saved me like five minutes. Then I start going up and it says like, hey, how about this? We got another route. This, this here was where I would have probably gone. This is 95 coming up. And it's like, hey, we got another shortcut. So I start going up. I'm like, all right. And then it goes to put me on 15, which is a parkway. I'm driving a truck. No commercial vehicles on. Uh, and it's not really even a commercial vehicle, but like you can't tow things. I think of like any trucks can't go on parkways. It's just a general rule of trucker thumb. So here I am going up here. It wanted me to get on 15, which is, um, where is it? Hello? Um, maybe this is my little detour. Yeah, yeah. so here, here it's got me going um, up here. This is my detour. So instead of staying here, it has me go here. Then it says, get on 15. And I'm like, oh, cool, 15. I can't get on 15. I'm in the truck. So I go this way, and I'm like, all right, sucks. Let me get back to 95. I start getting this way, and it's like, yep, that's going to be 44 minutes. Because they want me to get on 15 again here. 44 minutes to get back to 95 over here through New Haven. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm talking to Tommy, and Tommy's like, dude, just take the parkway. You're good. And I'm like, so I could tell him you told me to take the parkway because he's from Connecticut. So, like, you know, it's, it's okay. So he's like, yeah, yeah, just tell him you know me. All right, let's just say this is a gray area because technically my truck is conforming to the road. But, like, which one of these does not look like the other? Clearly, like, my truck probably doesn't belong on this road. Luckily, I've only got to make it 18 miles, and then I get back onto a non-parkway. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Here we go. Your tire's pretty flat, dude. You may want to fix that. So here I double backed a little bit, got on 15, and shot straight up 15. It was like a very a relieving thing. But then eventually, six hours later, yada, 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 I'm up to Boston. All right. Now we're on 34 from Boston, and thank whoever you thank, because the AC came back on after about, let's just say, a two and a half nut sweating hiatus decided to do me a favor it took it took a break the entire state of connecticut all right getting to boston just had to fuel up real quick and it looks like i'll be pulling into boston just before sundown six hours to get here today which sucks six hours long time but yeah there's your little update in case you were curious and the uh, Benzito is doing just fine back there. Now, if you see, if I add tomorrow to the mix here, boom, this is this is the route I should have taken. But even so, you look, I was in the car for 11, driving for 11 hours and 35 minutes. On the way back, I left Boston. I had dinner uh, with Jeb, uh, Rowan, Liron, uh, some of my buddies up that are up doing the gold rush. Um, and I saw some of the cars, some cool cars. If you guys haven't checked out Gold Rush, check it out. But I started coming down. Here's where I picked up my Volt. So Rob, the guy who, who drove my truck back from Texas because I needed it, he brought my truck back, and then he had to get back up to here where he lives. So I'm like, yeah, just take my Volt. I'm going up to Boston anyway. I'll pick up my Volt on the way back. So I did that. I picked up my Volt at like 1.30 in the morning. And at that point in time, I'm like, man, I'm really tired. 
And so I made it to about here and I found a rest area on the side, like one of those like no, no services, but just like a place to park. So I parked there. I'm like, you know, I'm going to take a two hour power nap. This is great. It's 2.30 in the morning and it's obviously bedtime. Looking like squinting through that, uh, that windshield, which is tinted, sucks. So I pulled over for a two hour nap. Woke up, I'm like, all right, I'm a little groggy, but I'm, I'm going to go. I'm like, I'm going to get my wind about me, and then I'm going to get back to New York because from here to here was only another two hours. And I made it about, like, here, and I'm like, I'm fucking tired. i got to pull over again. So I stopped here, which was a, a rest area. And so you have me picking up car, me leaving Boston, me picking up car, me going to rest area, me going to second rest area after I thought I could make it back to New York. And then when I left from here to here it was supposed to take me an hour and a half and it took me like three hours because I left after like 11 no I'm sorry like after 7 30 in the morning so by the time this was all the crawl the entire way down here and let's just say it sucked and that's why I don't care about anything right now because I'm on four hours of sleep uh went up to Boston and the only positive thing I I mean it's, it was good to see friends it was good to go up there I had to go up there. I was supposed to go to Barrett Jackson today. They sent me two free tickets. They're over there somewhere. Probably not going to go anymore because uh, I got too much stuff to do. But um, coming down, the air conditioning didn't fritz out because I just left it at 72. And at 72, we were money. So I thought it was just, I don't know what the problem is. I got to fix it. But that's one of those things where you may want to look into a new truck versus a used truck because you don't have those problems when something like an air conditioning breaks you're gonna hate yourself thank you for watching i'm sharing a little bit of misery with you but i've got a really good video tomorrow and then an even better one on sunday because i've got some really good news i want to share with you guys thanks for watching i will catch you next time thank you for checking out my trip from hell if you want to paint what are the, the, the rusty duckling the the ugly truckling you let me know see you next time